this next middle register exercise is called ngang. And again, we're using the NG sound to isolate the pharyngeal resonator, only this time we're opening up to an A sound to introduce you to what it feels like to place open vowel sounds in your pharynx. As I mentioned earlier in this section, it's perfectly fine to create a nasal sound during these middle register exercises because it helps to amplify the sensations that occur when using your pharyngeal resonator. It's important to remember that you don't need to make a beautiful or rich sound at this stage. In fact, in this particular exercise, if the sound is beautiful, something's not right. I also want to say here that producing an overly nasal sound is not something you're aiming for permanently as a singer for two reasons. One, it's not a particularly beautiful sound to listen to. And number two, it's not a healthy vocal technique to use because the amount of pressure your vocal cords are under when using this technique is great. Singing with an overly nasal tone can also cause fatigue of the vocal muscles and lead to strain if you do it excessively. However, for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to use it sparingly simply to gain access to your pharyngeal resonance. Okay, so during this exercise, make sure that you remember to implement all of the techniques you've learned so far in relation to posture, breath, clarity of tone and ease of sound production. So no matter what type of singing you're doing, whether it be experimental, uh, practice or performance, it's so important to always use the best technique you have available to you at that particular stage of your development. Okay, here we go, the ngang exercise goes like this. <laughs> 